So uh, just just informally, there are some people that think that the deep learning and the current you know most successful AI method is actually um, a dead end, right. right? In that regard, um, or if not a dead end, at least a, a little like a, a sidetrack um, that may eventually lead back onto the main path, but we're not there currently. I mean, I believe that, that deep learning is a, a bit of a dead end. Um, and there are more, more and more people are starting to, to come around to that. So there are definitely levels of AI. Um, and they, I guess, you know, we're looking to the future now. The levels that we can get to in AI probably correspond to levels of processing, computational power or intelligence in the brain. So the current AI that we have, the narrow AI, seems to be very good at um, implementing or emulating you know, the perceptual parts of the brain that we currently have. So you know, a, deep, a deep network, a convolutional neural network at the moment that's very good at, at image recognition, um, basically emulates roughly the structure of our visual cortex. But only the feed-forward components of the visual cortex. So in, in the brain, you have a lot of feed-forward connections, um, which basically take information from your sensors and relay it up and process it as, as it gets relayed up to, to higher and higher centers in the brain. But there, there's as much feedback, in fact, in many cases, there's more feedback in the brain than feed-forward connections. So the higher levels are sending information back to the lower levels. And exactly what's that for, what that's for, we, we don't really understand. We have theories. One of the, the, the leading theories is that this is for prediction. So the higher levels are basically taking all the information and accumulating it from our sensors and making predictions about what else we should see or what else we should hear. Um, but not just from moment to moment, but into the future as well. And so that's why there are so many connections from so many different parts of the brain. This is all, this is all missing um, for the most part, 99% of the time. This is all missing in our, in our deep learning models at the moment. So that would be the next level. The next level would be something, a, a deep network that's able to basically understand more about the, not just the spatial patterns that we see in the world, but the temporal patterns as well. Um, and making real predictions about what it's about to see or about to experience in the world. You might say that's, that would be the next level up. Beyond that, it gets a bit trickier. You know, one of the things that we seem to have that, that computers and, and AI are just so far from at the moment and not just us, um, lots of animals have been demonstrated to have this too, is this idea, this representation of yourself in the world. So this, this idea that you can differentiate between something that is you in, in your experience and something that's not. And this one piece of knowledge seems to be the basis for a lot of our cognitive abilities. It's our, it's our ability to realize that we can make um, changes to the world. We can actually direct some of our inputs, you know, we can look in different places and change what we see based on where we look. But even more than that, we can pick things up, right? And we can, we can meet needs and desires. If I want to take a sip of coffee, I can pick up this and, and take a sip of coffee. At the same time as I'm doing that, my brain is making predictions about what I should feel. You know, when I sip the coffee, what I should taste, all this sort of thing. That's why, you know, if you've ever had one of those sippy cups, the ones that actually look like they have liquid in them but don't, and you, you tip it up and you, you go to drink it and there's nothing there. That's, that's an incredible surprise, you're really shocked. And if you can see the look on someone's face when they, when they experience that, right, it, it's amazing because their, their predictions have been violated. This would be the next level of AI, I think. And <clears throat> that's the level I think we need to get to, to really start having AI that we can identify with and that, that we can feel like actually behaves intelligently and can do things for us that are useful in the real world.